Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Data Standard Audio Experience. Today, we have Isha Goyal, a data engineer working in a healthcare company. And today, we're going to be speaking about advice for early data professionals. And I'm so excited to have you, Isha. Thank you for coming to the show, and we're excited to have you. Thank you so much. I'm really honored to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience? Um, sure. Thank you. I was born in India and um, got my undergrad degree in computer science. In 2011, I moved to United States to do my master's in information systems from Northeastern University. As part of this program, I got a chance to work as an intern and got my first-hand experience in a healthcare industry. After graduation, I started working for Blue Cross Blue Shield as a senior data analyst. I worked there for around seven years, and that was the phase when healthcare industry was getting started investing in, um, you know, data science and uh, advanced analytics. I started taking data science courses um, from Harvard Extension School and completed my certification in 2019. This course really got me interested in machine learning and advanced analytics. It is really interesting, you know, that the healthcare is one of the oldest industry and it is collecting vast amount of data. I have personally seen data set going back 50 years in time, but still the data is not used to its potential. As insurance provider, companies are investing in understanding member behavioral data to create custom healthcare plan to help the sickest of their population. Uh, the possibility like these get me really excited about the future of advanced analytics and machine learning in healthcare industry. Yeah, that sounds great. You have a lot of experience in the healthcare industry, and it sounds like you really enjoy it since you're, you remain in the healthcare industry today with your current role. We all know that data is a newer industry. There's more data engineers, data scientists emerging into the field. What are some things that someone can do to better prepare themselves to get into this data industry? Sure. I think this is a great question and I would like to answer this in two parts. The first one is when you get started in a data industry as a student, you want to make sure your base is strong. Learn the basics, uh, learn the different algorithms, different way to interpret your data and relationship. There are so many open source data available out there you can play around with. Ask yourself, what problem can this data set solve? Come up with your own hypothesis. Reevaluate the existing relationship and results. Also, there is a big debate on which language is better, you know, Python or R. I think what important is to master at least one language. Both languages have huge open source community support. Focus on select few tools, but be really good at it. The second part is when you get into the professional life. When you get into your job, uh, learning about domain become a critical skill. If you understand how your data is collected, if you can evaluate completeness and correctness of the data set, it will help better align yourself from the stakeholder point of view. And also understand the problem statement and what you are trying to achieve. What is your end state? Another skill set I feel is uh, good to develop is storytelling using data. Many times as a data professional, you would be asked to present your findings to the stakeholders. And the skill set comes very handy to explain complex relationship to the non-technical audience. And in my opinion, that is the toughest task to do, you know. And then the dashboards and reporting become the bread and butter of the data science. This is the only medium to showcase your findings and analysis to the business stakeholders who may not understand the data in detail or understand machine learning and advanced analytics. So what I do and how I started developing my stories, telling skills is by reading, I don't know, hundreds of blog posts and recreate my own version of those stories. That really helped me improve my skills in storytelling. At the end, it's a continuous learning process. The technology is evolving very fast and it's important to build a habit to train your muscle memory, you know, train your brain to continuously learn and absorb the vast amount of information out there. I personally try to read at least one blog post or article every day to stay, you know, informed. That's awesome. You really keep up with the blog posts every day and um, really learning and just expanding your knowledge every day. It's really important, especially in this data field where things are constantly changing. So it's great to kind of stay updated in that way. I wanted to ask, just looking back at when you first started your data career, what is one thing that you wish you knew before actually coming into the data field? Sure. And I think this is the hard one. (laughs) I have a long list, but if I have to pick just one, it would be knowing that how much time I have spent obtaining the relevant and clean data. 
most of the time is consumed um, for any data professional is consumed in data wrangling, cleaning, learning about the data, where it is coming from before even jumping into analyzing the data. So now the questions um, we have to ask is like where the data is coming from, how it is gathered how often it gets updated, who gathers it, does it have anything missing? What is the impact of missing data to my problem statement? Does it fail sometimes? So all these questions are very important for understanding the data and also the problem in hand. And this goes hand in hand with the domain knowledge. The more I understand the domain, the better I can answer these questions and analyze the data. I did not plan this way, but my internship and last two jobs are in the same healthcare domain, which helped me a lot. Uh, the other thing I feel is data modeling is only one part of the entire machine learning uh, life cycle. Understanding the various machine learning algorithm out there only makes up small percentage of data science. Domain knowledge, data preparation, and finally analyzing the data takes up most of the time and effort for any data professional. So as a data engineer or as a scientist, you have to combine both sides together, mixing deep domain knowledge with the right statistical and engineering skill set to make better decisions to create a useful data product. Also, communication skills is widely important and chronically undervalued in technical world. Your impact can only be as good as your communication skills because as part of your job, you need to pursue your stakeholders to make decision or help build a better data product based on your analysis. Relating to your audience is critical by creating a concept a driven connection with your audience can also increase audience engagement. Your data visualization needs to be framed around the level of information uh, which your audience already know or is comfortable with so that you can connect easily and communicate your analysis effectively. The way you present your information can shape your audience perception and behavior thinking ahead on how you want to frame your data story and educate audience about the complex relationship in the data really helps. I know you asked me only one, but I think these skills go interconnected and it's hard to pick one without mentioning other. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of different things to kind of keep in account before actually going into the field. And it's great to hear your advice of what you personally wish that you had known before going into the data field. Another thing that I think I would personally add on to it is just being a more well-rounded person. So understanding the technical side of the data science technicalities that you need to know, but also having skills on the business side and understanding, like you had mentioned, the end goal. What is the end goal that the company is trying to get? Is it increasing revenue? Is it increasing specific analysis are you trying to find something i think it's really important to kind of know both sides and bring that together so that is some great insight that you brought you're you're right absolutely my next question for you has to do with the data life cycle and so why is it important to really understand this data life cycle and can you explain more about what this is sure data life cycle starts with how the data is collected which is a very important phase what is the source to all the way when it comes to its end of the life and in this life cycle, each step has its own importance. For example, the first step in data life cycle is data collection. Collection phase is mainly dominated by uh, collection techniques, public versus private data, sector data, impact of technology in collection uh, process, and also the quality metrics on which data would be measured. The other important aspect is the data governance. It has been widely adopted by the companies right now to create a single version of truth. Uh, define the data definition, which can be adopted and universally understood across the industry. Storage sec and secure um, step is mainly governed by cost, security, and other access pattern. The other step would be the use case, which is, I think, the most important and fun part where we as a data professional can get to apply um, different analytical and tools to find solution to business problem. As a data professional, this would be the step where you will be most vested into this and I think collection phase both. It's good to have a working knowledge of all these um, data life cycle, how it is implemented in your organization. And I think as long as you should be able to understand and reason about it and not necessarily know each and every detail, I think you're good. Usually there are different departments involved in your company in managing each of these steps. So, you know, overview is good. That's what I think. 
Yeah, data life cycle is a super important topic to really understand and know going into this data field. So that's great. And so my last question for you is just, I had touched on this topic a bit earlier um, speaking with you, but what are some ways a data professional can be more well-rounded? How can they really gain their knowledge from these different sectors? Sure. I've mentioned a few things already, which we talked in detail, but there are a few skills I would suggest are also important here to be a well-rounded data professional. I think you need to have a strong quantitative analytical background. Experience with variety of data sets also helps. Data integration is another skill skill to have where you can enhance the data to get a 360 degree view of your data. Correlating two entirely different set, a different data set could be challenging and a, a skill to build. Slicing and dicing of the data along with different dimension can give you an entirely different result. It takes a lot of practice and exploration to understand what is the best way you want to present your data and how that data would impact your result. Also, I would say don't try to master everything. Keep the basic concepts strong and uh, master and few tool set. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, great advice there. So thank you for sharing. We're at the Data Standard. We're building a community of data thought leaders and data enthusiasts. So everyone has a place where they can network and collaborate. And so what is something that we can do for you? I think, first of all, I would like to say that this is a great initiative to bring the data community together. For me, I would love to connect to the leaders who are innovating in data science and healthcare domain. There are so many startups in healthcare sector, which is using power of data to disrupt this whole healthcare industry and are forcing us to think differently. And I would love to build my network around it. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll definitely connect you with more um, data professionals within the healthcare industry so you can connect with them. And where can everyone find you online? I can be connected via LinkedIn. My ID is ISHA-GOYAL02, my first name dash last name 02. And I would love to connect to the leaders and students who are starting their journey and uh, talk about my experience with them. Perfect. For more information on the Data Standard, you can find us at www.datastandard.io, as well as our LinkedIn and YouTube channel. And this episode is sponsored by Pandio. They're innovating the tech space with their Apache Pulsar messaging system, helping companies be more data driven. So learn more about their work at pandio.com. And thank you so much, Isha, for joining us. So great to speak with you. And we hope to speak to you again soon. Thank you, Catherine, for this opportunity again. And I really enjoyed chatting with you. Thank you.